everybody, it's Frankie Lou, and I'm here now with my apparatus, uh, getting ready to show you guys how to do the second part of preparing a turkey on the smoker. Part one was the brining, and I hope that was helpful for all of you. Now we're going to get to the down and dirty business, which is actually smoking that turkey on the barn. I'm going to use a gas grill for this purpose. It's just a matter of preparing, of creating an indirect heat. Now, you do need to have something that will create the smoke. I have a pellet smoker, so I have a lot of smoking pellets. So that is why I'm gonna use those today to smoke my turkey on the barbecue. But you're, you, know, you don't need to do that. You can also buy smoking chips. Um, there's nice blends that you can get out there. I'm also very fortunate that my barbecue has a smoking tray that I pop in here to do it um, so that makes my life a lot easier if you don't have that although I know a lot of barbecues are equipped with that now I really highly recommend investing in a couple of these and you fill these with the chips just and place them directly on the grill you're going to remove one of these grates and put the um, this box directly on the heating element that you're using the fire and usually what I used to do is I had two of these and I'd have one smoking and then I would switch it out with the other one which I have the chips prepared so I'd have it ready to go because the secret of smoking a turkey or anything really is trying to keep a low slow consistent heat and a low and a nice even amount of smoke coming through all right so if you um, you can also if you don't want to invest in that you can use tin foil packs that you've poke some holes in and um, switch those out as you need to do it with your pellets or your chips. Okay, another thing that you're really going to need is uh, an insta read thermometer. This is important um, because you don't want to have it open for long. And I always have ready a nice tray to put my, my burnt out chips in and a pitcher of water because you want to soak those chips as soon as you take them out of your tray, whatever you're using to smoke, because you don't want any hot ashes flying around your place. And I'm speaking from experience here. Okay, um, another thing that you're going to want is an appropriate um, thing to actually smoke your turkey in. Now I do two or three of these a year, so I you can get yourself a tin foil tray, but I like having the weight because I don't want it to crumble underneath. I got this, which fits perfectly for most turkeys I want to do, and it has a rack that I bought separately that doesn't sit inside. See, it sort of sits just on top, and that's important because you don't want you want your turkey to be sitting above the any any metal you want it to be fully exposed to the smoke that's circulating around it so um, some people what they do is they put a dip, drip tape down underneath the grates but I find this a lot easier for when I want to move my turkey around so this is what I've done okay so those are the tools that you're gonna need to get this done I'm gonna get this barbecue started up here I want to get it to an even, I want to maintain that heat through almost the entire cooking process uh, between 225 and 250. Okay, so I'm planning to cook my turkey on this side. We'll have my turkey sitting on this side. And I'm going to start the indirect heat over on that side. This is also where my smoking tray goes, so that works well. Um, if you don't have a, a barbecue that has a good, this is an excellent temperature gauge, I've tested it a few times. So I use this. You can also get a little metal ov an oven thermometer um, that you can put in there to ensure that your your barbecue is maintaining a, um, an even and consistent. At an uh, even 225 to 250 heat, your turkey is going to cook for is going to take approximately half an hour per pound. So I've got a pretty big turkey, the biggest turkey I want to do, smoking, at 15 pounds. So I know that that's going to take approximately seven and a half hours. I have learned from experience to give myself a little bit of extra leeway, and I'm actually giving myself 10 hours because I also find that when I smoke food, it tastes a lot better if it has, well, it, it stays moister the longer I can let it um, rest after it's finished cooking. 
So, and just in case there's some issue, I don't want to have a whole bunch of people sitting waiting for turkey and it's still on the barbecue. I'm going to get this fired up and while it's warming up, I'm going to show you how I prepare the turkey to put it in the, the smoker. So I like to add a lot of different flavor layers to my food and I brined this turkey already, which is in the earlier video if you want to check that out. I've, um, it's been brined overnight and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer of flavor. Um, and another <laughs> layer of flavor as well before I stick it in here. So first what I've got here is about half a cup of softened butter. I have two generous tablespoons of the barbecue rub that I use pretty much standard around here. If you want that recipe, that's also available um, on our videos. And I'm going to use about two tablespoons, or a good dollop, of some of our own delicious honey from our bees here. I'm gonna mash this stuff up all nice together. Great. Okay, so I now have my um, my nice flavored barbecue butter that I'm gonna put all over my turkey. So what I like to do is use a spoon. This has been pat dry, by the way, after it's, and I'm gonna go in there with that spoon and loosen the skin underneath, in between the breast underneath there make a nice spot now this is very messy there's no way to do this really tidily okay uh, so just make sure you wash your hands really well before and after and then I'm gonna start putting some of that in there and squishing it in right next to the skin well right next to the flesh of the breast okay I'm also gonna take a nice generous amount of it and spread it around all inside now what I want to do is I'm going to, now that I've got, I'm going to put a little bit more of this also by the thigh meat. I'm going to squish that down into the thigh meat. And I want to reserve quite a bit of it, of this lovely mixture here, for using later when I'm in the last stages of cooking the turkey to give it a nice soft glaze over the top. Okay, so I have the butter, seasoned butter all incorporated into this turkey. And now I want to truss it up a bit okay I'm gonna tie the legs together I don't want them to be too tight though as I do want there to be some airflow and then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck these wings under and I'm gonna pop it onto my rack here now this is the part I find extremely essential um, both for flavor and also when you are smoking turkey or any any animal with a skin for that matter it does tend to really darken the skin almost make it burnt and one of the things you can do so that your skin is protected a little bit is protect it and why protect it with cheesecloth or something when you can protect it with bacon okay so I've got about a kilogram here of really thick cut super smoky delicious bacon Okay, and I'm gonna lay that on my bird. And I just try to sort of drape it generously around the bird. I don't wanna be plugging up any of the holes though, cause like I said, I do want it to sort of the air to circulate, the smoky air to circulate around a lot around the bird. And there we go. And then I'm just gonna secure it in place with a few toothpicks just so that because it doesn't flip around too much while my bird is cooking and sort of will stay where it's supposed to. Okay so there's the bird just before it heads into the barbecue. I'm just going to put a little bit of stock and water mix in the bottom of the tray there and I've got the barbecue to the right temperature and we're going to get started. So very quickly now because I don't want to let all this wonderful smoke out. Oof. It's a big bird. I don't normally do one this big. I'm gonna pop this puppy in and I'm putting it away from the heat. Like I said, all the heat is being generated on these grills over here. And so this is sitting in indirect heat here. And now I leave it. Okay, I find that my smoking trays, I check at the start to make sure it's pretty consistent, but I usually have to change in around the 45 minute mark. Okay, but I'll check in half an hour just to make sure everything is consistent. 
not going to baste this turkey for a long time. All right, and I'll show you the progress as we go along. All right, so we're about three hours in um, for smoking this bird. So it's time to change, I can see, because there's the lack of smoke here, it is time to change the chips again. This will be the fourth time I've done it. I'm going to rotate the bird again because I do that about once an hour or so, so that I know that it is in direct heat, but I want it to be cooking evenly and that just helps. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to start um, basting now because I know I'm nowhere near done, but the bacon is starting to shrivel up a little bit and I'll show you that. And so I'm going to baste it just so that I'm making sure that we're getting um, nice juiciness still in there and it's not going to get super dry on the surface. Okay, so let's do a little rotate. It's looking good. I'll show you before I close the barbecue here. And I'm going to do just a little bit of basting. Okay. Uh, you can see that the heat is coming off of this side. I'm going to show you the turkey now. As you can see, the turkey's coming along nicely. The bacon is um, starting to shrivel up a bit, but it's probably going to be on there for another couple of hours. Okay, probably take that off at about the five hour mark. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to put some more smoke chips in. I got to get this closed up. I'm letting all my nice heat out. But as you can see, it's coming along nicely. Okay, so we're about six hours in <laughs> of uh, smoking this turkey. I've turned it several times. I'm going to do that again in a second here, but I believe it's time to take the bacon off. Yep, the bacon is a really nice, perfect, dark bacon, double smoked, crispy deliciousness. So I'm going to really quickly remove all this. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to check the temperature. I'm going to add the smoker chips again. And so with it being at six hours, I'm thinking I should be at a temperature of about 150 or so. This is where I have to start checking a lot. After, once I remove the bacon for two reasons. A, I don't want to wreck the skin, I don't want it to burn. And B, this is where my temperature starts to um, be closer to being done. Sometimes it's done a little sooner than you expect, sometimes a little later. Um, I want to get the at least five different areas on this turkey, thigh, breast, leg, everything has to be at least 165. Mm -hmm. Exactly, like you want the lowest temperature to be 165 and you don't want it to be like much higher than 170, 175 in any of the other areas. So you're going to have different temperature readings throughout the turkey, but in order to remain food safe, make sure the minimum reading that you're getting on the five different areas that you check on your turkey is 165. Remember that softened barbecue butter with the honey in it that I had reserved part from the start? I actually, now is when, help that skin get nice and crispy and delicious. I'm going to add a whole bunch of it onto that now. Okay, and don't worry, this bacon is not going to go to waste. All right, it's pretty darn perfect. And that's going to go into my stuffing. Okay, I'm going to put some of it in my stuffing. And I'm also going to do it with my Brussels sprouts. So don't worry, this will get eaten. That's if it gets in the house before um, the other members of my family see it. I'm going to have to hide this now. Okay, so we have a finished bird. It finished exactly on time seven and a half hours after I put it in at 225 to 250 degrees for half an hour per pound. I'm gonna let this rest for a couple hours. Um, that might seem crazy, but I find the longer that you less, let it rest, the better. And uh, this is gonna be perfect for our little Canadian Thanksgiving dinner here. So if you have any questions, if you have any uh, comments, please let us know. And as always, I hope you take this chance to grow together today.